Welcome, this is the 10 ready practice test for geometry, question number 7. Still no calculator, wah wah. Determine which statement is true in regard to triangle ABC and LMN. Uh, triangle ABC is similar to triangle LMN, not just it looks like it. Um, and then on down and then they're not similar at all. Now this is the symbol for similarity, which means we're not looking at congruence. That looks like this. That would be that they're all the same. Obviously they're not congruent, this one's way bigger. but. Uh, when I'm looking for similarity, I'm looking for two things. Number one, corresponding angles are congruent. So if I have a 48 in one, there needs to be a 48 in the other, and so on and so forth. And number two, corresponding sides are proportional. which means that I can have the same relative value in the ratio between the sides. So I'm going to see what I can get out of this and how I can tell. There's a few ways that I can identify similarity um, and many of them are listed. Side, side, side indicates that the sides are all proportional. I don't have enough information to tell you anything about that. I don't know what the length of LM is. I don't know what AB is. So I can go ahead and say it's not that because I can't tell you. Side, angle, side would be the two sides have a proportional relationship and then the angle that's included which means between them so if I had this set up and I knew this side was proportional to one over here and this other triangle and this one was proportional to this one this angle would be the included angle they would have to be congruent in order for them to be similar and the last one would be AA criterion AA is angle angle if two angle if you have two pairs of corresponding angles in triangles, they're similar because as it locks the third angle value in, uh, anytime you have that set up because dot 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 180 degrees in a triangle, if one of them is 90 and another one is 35, the other one has to be what's left over and it would be the same in the other. And then when you increase the size of anything but keep the angles the same, it makes a proportional change. So you shift one of their sides by an amount, you have to sh change the same, uh, the other one by a similar amount. Anyway, the big deal here is let's look at what's available to us. I said earlier that's 180 degrees. So I have 90 degrees here, 42. So what's left over? 90 plus 42 is 132. And remember, Let's call this X, or we call it angle A. That would make way more sense. I don't know why I need to define it as something that's not already. So angle A plus 42 plus 90 equals 180. So I put these together and get 132. Angle A. I need to subtract 132 from both sides. Eight forty-eight. So angle A is equal to forty-eight. So what do I know from that? And you could test eight plus two would be ten, so you have zero and one more, four and four would be eight, plus one more would give you ninety, so the ninety's there. Same here, forty-two. So do I have two sets of angles that are corresponding and congruent? Probably. This is 42, this is 48, this is 42 and 48. So I can prove that this, these are similar simply based on the fact that I have angle-angle criterion. Because as I increase the size of this, I have to change AB proportionally and BC. Why isn't it side-angle-side? I don't have enough information. I have an angle and some angles and then I have one side set. Side angle side does not mean two sides total, it means two sides are proportional within, you have two corresponding pairs. So I'd have to have, this may be proportional to this, 4 over 8, that works. So if I had another relationship, so say I said this one was 3 and this one is 6, then yeah I could prove a side pair being uh, proportional, but I can't do that otherwise. And because I have AA, they're not not similar, so they certainly are. So my answer to number seven is A.